Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe. Welcome to Game Life Gameplays World of Warcraft. I thought I'd do a uh, World of Warcraft series with an Alliance character to accompany the uh, streams I've been doing of my Horde Troll. So, meet Fergus. He is a Alliance Dwarf Warrior. Uh, say hello, Fergus. Hey guys! Alright. And, uh, just figured we'd have a little bit of fun. Um, get some chill on and, uh, you know, see what this Alliance lore is all about. Uh, I love Warcraft. It's one of my favorite games. And uh, I always wanted to do, like, a long-term leveling series, uh, among other things. But for now, we're going to start with leveling, well, so... Met. Hey, you there. You're a stout-looking warrior. Lend us a hand. It looks like today's big earthquake shook a bunch of those barbarous throgs out of the ground, and they're sure steamed about something. My men are doing what they can to hold them off, but we could use a hand. Do your part. That's just south of here. And help me dig mountaineers out of trouble. You've got to hold the line. See you soon. Slay six rock show invaders. Oh, here they come. Oh, that guy died just because I looked at him. Are we going to get this done quick? No. I don't know how long this series will go. Um, I'm planning on taking it pretty long. Uh, I'm going to try to do uh, at least a couple of videos a week in this series. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I stream pretty much every day, so doing YouTube is new to me. Um, I've been streaming on YouTube and Twitch simultaneously, but I thought it'd be fun to actually make some true YouTube videos without the chat, without the uh, without the streams. So you guys know that I'm just talking straight to the video, talking straight to you. And uh, it's a little more direct interaction. What's up, Rock Joe Invader? So, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm sure I have a whole different skill set to learn here, and it'll be fun. You know? You know what I mean? Alright, we need one more of these guys. Get this one. Cool. We done. We go back and turn in the quest. He's right up here. Okay, we can't get up that hill. So we're going around this way. Yeah, so I've been playing Warcraft since way back in vanilla, pretty much a, a couple months after it came out. I didn't, I didn't play beta or anything. Impressive work, laddie. We can hold the perimeter from here on out. Here, take this for your troubles. It might come in handy. Because I've got something more important to ask of ye. Hey, I got pants. All right, Fergus, listen up. I know a thing or two about trogs, and one of those things is the biggest, strongest trogs get the most respect. The brutes value strength over anything else. You see those great big trogs sitting back behind the front lines? They're the closest they have to what you'd call a leader. Go take out a few of them, and show them what it means to mess with the Sons of Ironforge. Be good. Sons of Ironforge Motorcycle Club. Oh, there's another quest up there. Whoops. It's been a while since I played this zone with any kind of new character or anything. Stand stout on. Wait, come here. Come back. Hey, stop. What's he doing? How are ya? Fergus, listen. Unlike Joran, I have need, no need for your blade. But I do need someone with a steady hand to add a bit of courage. I can't read. Our mountaineers are trained to protect the village from odd wolf attacks, not an all-out drug invasion. Many of the best have succumbed to wounds and exhaustion, and I need your help bandaging them up. Here, take my first aid kit and assist as many as you can. I got nervous I wasn't recording for a second. Save there. travels! But we're good. Alright, so we gotta bandage up some dudes and kill the big trucks. Hey, there's a wounded guy right there. What's on your mind? Not him. You? Yeah, you. Hey, darling. Feel better, will ya? You're welcome. Oh, there's another one. Hello! Hi. Alright, you're pretty lass. Hey! I need to get Cut that out! Oh my god, what are you doing? You're dying. That's what you're doing. Great to meet you. Don't worry, brother. I got your back. Oh, let that guy do that to you again. I just thought it'd be fun to go back to the roots. It's actually, uh,. Only the second character I have on a kind of new account. I've been leveling, uh, like I said, a troll Great to meet you. on my streams. Um, very, very slowly. <laughs> but, uh, thought it'd be fun to also do an alliance character. Since we're leveling on the hunter on the troll side, we'll do a warrior on this side. 
We're probably going to level outdoors. We're not going to do dungeons or anything. We'll do that to a different character at some point. Ow. It's just kind of a chill little series. We'll see how it goes. Alright. Got both of those quests done. We'll go hand them in. Hello, bunny rabbit. We'll just have some fun with it. We'll do a little half-hour increments, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you have any suggestions for something else that you'd like to see, let me know. I'd like you to comment in the chat. Uh, comment below. You got my what was your first World of Warcraft character? If you've played it, obviously. And if you haven't, what would your first World of Warcraft character be? Many of those that you saved have already made it back to camp. The ones are well dressed. You might have a future in first aid if you're into that sort of thing. Watch your back. Yeah, I'm sure I like helping people. Why not? What can I do for you? Mm, they blame us for destroying their home, you say. Well, that wasn't us. That was the horrible earthquake we had earlier today. Are they that dense? They can't see. We clearly lost our camp too. Not clearly. Nearly. Can't blame a truck for fighting to his home, though. We appreciate your help out here, but there may be a place where they need you even more. Due to the drug attacks, not to mention the massive earthquake we just had, we're putting all the civilians on lockdown inside Anvilmar, just up the hill to the northwest. Go and talk to me wife Jonah, inside Anvilmar. I'm certain she's in need of an able-bodied man such as yourself. I don't think that's what he means. We're going to assume he's not asking Keep me to go shoot his wife. Ground. Pretty sure that's not what he's getting at. Maybe, maybe he wants me to go take care of her. He's like, I haven't been home in a long time. Could you go lay with me, wife? Oh, there she is. Welcome. It's a fine-looking older woman. Ah, oh, can what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy in here? Go and bother someone else. I haven't the time. Wait, what's that you say? Joran sent you to help. Well, why didn't you say so? I don't know how anyone expects to get any work done around here if we don't have any ale. Our beer level here in Anbomar is dangerously low. Lucky for us, we've stowed some backup kegs to just such an occasion. West of Anvilmar, along the valley's northern border, you'll find kegs of Stormhammer Stout and Theromor Pale Ale. Just to the east of here, you'll find a stash of Nomenbrow. Oh, Nomenbrow. That's my personal favorite. Me too. Watch your back. All right. Hey, Grundle. Talk to me. It's an unfortunate name. Fergus, my boy. Are you into archaeology? Well, of course. We have an exciting opportunity right outside our front door. All the shaking from today's seismic event has knocked a number of artifacts loose from the soil around our encampment. Survey along the valley's northern border, and you should find all sorts of treasures. Bring some back to me, and perhaps we can study them together. Right then, off you go. All right. Watch your back. We can manage that. <clears throat> Excuse me. That sounds like a reasonable thing we could do for them. Come on, Fergus. You know, one thing about not being a hunter is I don't have anybody to talk to during the uh, during the videos. Hey, archae uh, archaeology artifacts. Yay! Put on over here. Here's the Nomen Brow. We should just leave now with the Nomen Brow while we can. There's more archaeology artifacts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beer and ruins. It's my thing. There we go. Go over here. There's another keg. Another archaeology up on the hill. Run up there and get that. And my first ever World of Warcraft char character was a dwarf hunter, I do believe. Because um, I really wanted uh, I like the idea of a pet. Hey man, people knock hunters, but they're fun. I don't care what you say. Don't let people knock hunters, guys. Play, play what class you want, have a good time. People say, why are you play, playing this old game for? Because I enjoy it. That's all that matters, right? Everybody's got something negative to say about everything sometimes. Just do what you like doing. Don't let other people, people's opinions dissuade you from enjoying what you enjoy. That's all I gotta say on the subject. Alright, we got our artifacts, we got our beer. 
we got to head back to Anvilmar, hand the stuff in. As we plod along through the snow, leaving our little footsteps behind. Got a big axe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes you feel like a dwarf. Sometimes you don't. Ah, oh, man, dwarves got dwarves. Hounds don't. Sometimes you feel like a dwarf. Sometimes you don't. Snap into a dwarf gym? No. It's kind of weird. I'm trying not to yawn because it's been a long day. I'm the finest words in the world. Yes. Wonderful! Look at this one. It must be over 200 years old. Now onto other matters. I'm gonna cough, guys. Give me a second. Here. It's alright. I'm not dying. I'm fine. Mmm. <clears throat> Maybe a little swig of drink here. I know, you shouldn't drink soda. Don't tell me what to do, I'm way older than you. The Trog village to the southwest suffered a similar damage to ours. One would assume logically that there would be some Trog artifacts sticking out to the ground too. Unfortunately, it looks like most of the artifacts have already been scooped up by Trog scavengers. Please go see if you can find some way to get them back. Believe it or not, no little about the Trogs may eventually lead the further knowledge about the mighty dwarves. Rawr, mighty dwarves. Alright. Hey, good. Sounds good. Hey, Jonah. How are you? I got the beard, baby. You want to have a party? <clears throat> Jonah drinks deeply from the Norman brow. Ah, that is the spot. Now can we get some work done around here? If we're going to be on lockdown for an extended period of time, we're going to need some food, some blankets to keep the wee ones warm. Would you mind heading outside and gathering up some supplies? You'll find that a few of the small boats actually have some healthy sized haunches. She said boars, but I said boats. Because it's more interesting to hunt boats here in the tundra. Good for eating. We'll also need some pelts from the young wolves. You'll find animals almost anywhere. You go in Coldridge. Off with ya. Alright, let's go slaughter things. That sounds pretty normal. We have to go kill trogs and kill boars. And wolves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Nice tank. Oh, I see one. Hello? Hello, a small crag boar. I wanted to hunt boats, but apparently the lady inside wants boar meat, not boat meat. Also, I don't know what boat meat is. Hello, Trog. Excuse me. Do you have any artifacts I might procure? Yes, you do. Thank you. Your patronage is much appreciated in this matter. Oh, we got charge. Now we can have fun. Now we can have fun. Oh, we're too close. Slam. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Let the dwarves be dwarves! Slam! I don't know what to tell you. Stuff just happens sometimes. Alright. Slaughtering of the rock jaw scavengers. Continues! Okay, one hit that guy. Yeah, all five artifacts. I like it. Now, uh, boars and wolves. No chance we don't get them all. Hello? I want to charge. I'm too away. close, but I'm too far to do that. Okay. Let's go stand next to him. Thank you. Aha! That's it. That's better. I don't know what you guys usually watch. I'm a big fan of the WoW Crandor leveling videos. I really like his uh, his machinimas too, but uh, his leveling video is like really cool. What what's inspired me to do this uh, this series? This, Oh, I'm sorry guys. It's been that kind of long day. Mm. Normally I do that on stream and it's not a big deal, but I feel bad doing it on just a little short YouTube video. Oh well, what are you gonna do? I'm a I'm a real I'm a real life boy. You get you get everything real with me guys. I'm not faking nothing. So I got the grey hair, I got the cough, drinking the soda, which is probably what gave me the grey hair in the first place. You know. You gotta be yourself. There's things we could all do better. I try. 
And right now I'm just trying to make a video that I'll enjoy, and hopefully you'll enjoy. Come here, Ragged Timberwolf. Why are they so ragged? It's not nice. It's a perfectly, perfectly good looking Timberwolf. <laughs> First YouTube video that made a thousand people yawn. <laughs> yeah, there's not a thousand people gonna watch this. Maybe not today. Ten years from now, we'll all be looking back laughing. Like, oh, that yo. That game life game. Nobody thought that old bastard would make it as a streamer and a YouTuber, but look at him now. He's the most popular holograph streamer out there. That's right, holographs. That's what it's gonna be. We're gonna just be living in virtual reality holograms by then. Holograms and holographs. I don't know what the difference is. I'll have to find that out. Make sure I'm doing the right thing. If I'm doing the, uh, one, the one thing, and if I'm doing holograms and everybody's watching holographs, it's gonna be terrible. Huge waste of time. Hologram kind of sounds like telegram. Like, send someone a hologram. It's like a holographic telegram. That'd be kind of cool. There I go again. I shouldn't make videos when I'm tired. This is lesson number number one. Lesson number two. I shouldn't make videos when you're this goddamn old. Lesson What's number three. Here, Don't make one of the worker videos. Everybody's tired of them. Did you manage to pry any artifacts from the drugs? I make it anyway, though. Well, would you look at this? An axe blade, a couple of arrowheads, and what appears to be some sort of rudimentary spoon. This is indeed fascinating. Thanks again for your help, Fergus. I'm much studying to keep myself occupied while Jordan's got us locked and under lockdown. Oh, with you. Oh, I forgot. I'm getting gear. Gotta open my bag and look at what I got. I got leggings and boots and a chest piece. Interest you on a bite? And I guess he'll buy the rest of the stuff for me. Yeah, yeah. Watch your yes. back. Great to meet ya. Uh, people are getting restless. Do you have the supplies yet? This'll do for now. We've got a lot of people to feed here, but we got to make do with what we got. With any luck, King Bronzebeard and Ironforge will send some help shortly. I don't think so. He's a little preoccupied, last I heard. You've done us a great service here, but I'm afraid I got to send you off elsewhere. Grelin Whitebeard, the good friend of mine, has put in word that he may need reinforcements near that troll camp to the southwest. Follow the road westward? You should find him soon enough. Be well, Fergus. Trogs may be a pain, but trolls are a whole nother type of trouble. Keep your feet on the ground. Seems like good advice. I don't know why I wouldn't just follow that. Alright, we'll head out to Grell and Whitebeard. Follow the big yellow arrow on the main map. The zones changed a lot since vanilla. I guess all the zones have. I, don't, I think they updated just about everything, right? But I wonder if they've updated the uh, the Burning Crusade zones for the Draenei and the uh, Blood Elves, or if those are the same for BC. We might have to find out one of these days. But for now, we're gonna be dwarfing. Oh, look how his braids bounce when he jumps. It's funny. Graphics. Cutting edge, I tell you. Great to meet you. Welcome, warrior. Are you ready to get to work? The trolls are acting up. More than usual, I'd say. We've seen them put together war parties before, but this time it's different. What matters most, however, is the continued protection of Anvilmar. I have no intention to let these trolls flank Anvilmar while its attention is turned towards trogs. Go in the ranks a bit. You need to know that we're still not without defenses. Safe travels. Seems reasonable. Kill more things. I'm notoriously bad at reading troll facial expressions. That being said, these trolls don't look angry to me. They seem confused. Maybe a little frightened. Something happened that we're not seeing here, Fergus. I say we do some investigating before we just kill every troll in sight. There are three troll camps in the area. One to the southwest, one to the southeast, and one due west. Each camp has a soothsayer. See if you can get close enough to listen to what they're saying. See you soon. This doesn't sound difficult. Hey! What's up, little dude? I was on my way home to join my fellow gnomes at Gnomeregan, but then it all went horribly wrong. I left Anvilmar bags packed and waded through waist deep snow. Then we had this ridiculous earthquake, and I got all turned around. I ended up here, and what's worse, the troll stole all my stuff. 
the Ergus have obviously proven myself to be pure incompetent over the last day and a half. Would you mind infiltrating the troll camp southwest of here and returning my stuff to me? Off and away! I was going there anyway, so no problem. Coalbridge Valley. Overhead a bird flew by, and I thought to myself, what kind of man, what kind of dwarf would I be slaying trolls? Early for the good of my people. Well, I'd be a good dwarf then, wouldn't I? Someday I'll be able to answer that question. But for today, I just have to do my duty. <clears throat> Come on, killer. I'm trying to have a drink of water here. <clears throat> It's not water, it's soda. Why are you lying to everyone? I don't know, I said water. <clears throat> you know you got trouble, guys. When you're having allergy attacks, when you, you're yawning during videos. It's just terrible. I should just scrap it and do it over. But I won't, because it's real. This is who I am. What you gonna do? <clears throat> A spirit come from deep down to talk with Grignair. She told us everything she's gonna say already. Alright. Yep, we got credit for her. But hold on, there's more throw killing to be doing. Get out of here, bunny rabbit. He almost got killed. Killed dead even. So much more girthy than you. How many more? One more. Let's get this guy up on the hill. Oh, I look so handsome in my purple and blue armor. The gray highlights. It's lovely. Come from the land of the ice and snow, where the dwarves bounce around like a crazy go. Oh, dwarf power. Excuse me. What we gonna do now, you ask? We wait. Grignir says he gonna talk to the elemental, get it to fight on our side. What elemental? Soon enough, we take over this valley. Soon enough. That's fair. I don't blame you. I'm going to have to stop you, though. You're not going to be very successful if you let the dwarves just stand there and you tend to listen to you. I'm just saying. You might want to rethink your priorities. Whee. Hello. I need this. You stole it from a gnome friend of mine. I'm going to talk words. I don't know why the spirits be rejecting us so. Don't worry, child. Grick and you're gonna help us get through this. Alright. I'm not I won't worry. She says Grickner's gonna figure it out, so we should be good guys. I'm not I'm not stressed at all. When you're leveling these days, I think you purely have to be in it for the quests and the lore a little bit because there's not real challenge to it anymore. What can I do for ya? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> what you're saying, it sounds like the elemental might have snuck in from Seer and Gorge, or the earthquake opened up a crack to the elemental plane. Sword laughs uncomfortably. That didn't sound uncomfortable, he sounded quite jovial. Either way, it's bad news. We should probably report this information to Grelin. Oops. Complete quest. Off with you. Hey, Grelin. How are ya? Well. Hopefully, that did the trick. Andalmar will be safe from trolls for the time being. Now to find out what it is. Does this troll so agitated? Eh, hey, I got a new weapon. I should equip that now. So I'll forget. Soren did well to send you out the recon. There's some good information you have right there. Trouble is, this just adds more work for us to do. 
Trolls confused as they are right now, still would like to kick the dwarves fighter right out of Coldridge. And I'm certainly not going to let some fiery demon turn our snowy valley into a mountain lake. The troll leader, his servants, and the creatures should all be in the cave to the southeast. Take them all out. Be good. Go slaughter more things. Excellent. Murder for hire is what warriors do. Oh, oh sorry, Felix. I forgot to do Felix's stuff, guys. Oh, I was so excited about killing trolls and elementals. Hi, how are you? Once I get my tools, I'm out of here. Huzzah, you found him. Get ready, woman of Nomragan. Here comes Felix. Now, which road takes me out of here? Be seeing you. I don't think he knows, because he's been here for years. He doesn't leave, ever. It's all good. I think this is the last part of our Cold Ridge Valley Odyssey here. We just have to fight our way through this cave. Kill Grignir in the elemental. Save the dwarves from trolly ruinous... Trolly ruinousness. Yes, making up words. It's the best way. Don't you know that's how dwarves do things? When there's not a word you need for something, you just make one up. Ruinousness and trolly. Stop being so trolly, you stupid trolly troll. It's going to take me a while to learn how to be good at this. Not the Warcraft, this is easy. The YouTube's a little harder. There's nobody to talk to. I just gotta talk to you like you're here, but you're not here. It's weird. I mean, I know hopefully you'll be here later, but right now I'm just talking to myself. As though you're listening. I'm not even listening. There we go. There's all the toughies we gotta fight. Killing you be easy. I feel like I just interrupted him making a rap song. Apparently it's their favorite song. Maybe it's playing on a radio that I can't hear. Rick near the cold. Is that why he's so grouchy all the time? Let me get bigger. Aha! I'll show you. I will show you. Hold on, I gotta go fight this elemental. Finally, show some emotion, Fergus. You're trying to save your people from ruination. Ruinism, even. A dry, th scratchy throat tonight, guys. All of a sudden, yeah, people make me nervous. You know that. I don't know why. But you're so much better. Oh, now I'm yawning. My God, it's like an old man just trying to get through the day at work, <laughs> sleeping all, all through the video. Did you see that YouTube video that guy made where he slept the whole way through? No. Oh, I should go watch it though, that sounds ridiculous. It is. Yeah. He fell asleep before the end of his video. Recorded for three hours. Still posted it. It's kind of nuts. He didn't even edit out the sleeping part. You can edit videos. Nah. That's crazy. What can I do for you? I'm glad you returned safely, Fergus. Well, I may not look like it now. You've proven to be a tremendous asset in the protection of Anvilmar. Here, take this as a symbol of my gratitude. Everybody's got an extra pair of pants, apparently. The presence of the fire elemental here in Coldridge is no small matter. That earthquake did more than just upset a bunch of drugs. It changed the world enough to tear a gash in the elemental plane. We should submit a report to Ironforge. You wouldn't be willing to take a trip, would you? Don't worry. I have a feeling that you'll do just fine. Talk to Hans Springsprocket by the tunnel on the eastern edge of the valley. He'll point you in the right direction. See you soon. Well, alright. I guess that's what we're doing. Well, guys, 
this has been episode one of Joe Plays Warcraft, presented by Game Life Game. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit the like button. Follow me. Do whatever you want to do. You can check me out on Twitch. I stream almost every night. And uh, we do a lot of different stuff over there. But over here, we right now we're doing this video series. We're doing a Rocket League video series. And God knows what else we'll be doing. Um, try to put up at least one video a day. Uh, we'll see if we can stick to that schedule. See how it goes. You're going to get me. You know, I'm, I'm a... I'm a 44-year-old guy who likes games, likes sharing them with people, and, uh, you know, if you want to hang out, have a good time, check out my vids, check out my stream, and uh, I'll see you next time, alright? For tonight, my name is Joel, and this is Fergus, the Dwarf Warrior. Say goodbye, Fergus. See ya. Yeah, that's good boy. See, he listens. It's good. So, we'll see you next time. Check for our video tomorrow. We'll try to do a video every day this week of the Warcraft, alright? So, thank you guys. Love you guys. We'll see you soon. Game Life Games, signing off. Have a great night. See you next time.